are watching West Harper Community West Television. Television. You're watching West Harper Community Television. You're watching West Harper Community Television. For the community, by the community. It's the middle of the year. It's June. It's time for a dream check. It's time for you to take a break and reset your dreams. I'll be right back. Don't touch that remote now. See you in a second. Get ready to find hope. Get ready to be inspired. Get ready to discover your full potential. Get ready for total success from the Total Success Coach, Princess Bola Adelani. This is Princess Bola Adelani, the Total Success Coach, welcoming you to Inspired Success, your monthly dose of inspiration power the program that equips you with the power and inspiration for total success. That is success at work and in life. Yes, it is June. It's the middle of the year. It's two th in, a, in a, a few months from now, just a few months from now, this year will be over. And it's been coming coming, 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 and you've been saying to yourself, okay, when am I gonna take this break? When am I gonna take a break? It's time for you to take a break and reset your dreams. And what do I mean by that? It's time for you to take a break and evaluate and measure and, and, and reflect and, and say to yourself, you know, ask yourself, where am I? These are these the dreams and the goals that I set for myself at the beginning of, of the year. You know, I've been in the people, as you know, I've been in the people business now for decades. And, um, you know, one of the main reasons why dreams fail, where I see people not realizing their dreams and their goals is this one reason. This is one main reason why this happens. It is because they keep going and going, but they never take time to reset. They never take the time to measure, to evaluate, to realign their dreams and to make sure that, you know, they're still on course. You know, every automobile, every, 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 every aircraft, every, anything at all that is constantly in motion, goes now and again into the garage. It goes for a check. It goes for a tire rotation, for an alignment. Because what happens is that, you know, the more your emotion, there's a tendency that you begin to veer off course. The more things move, they begin to veer off course. And so we have to take time and take our automobiles into the garage for alignments. The same with the aircrafts, you know, the pilots after each trip have to recalibrate and they have to reset and, and then be before they begin a new trip, you know. But it's amazing, you know, it never ceases to amaze me why as humans we don't do the same thing. Sometimes we, we treat, uh, uh, you know, machines, uh, vehicles and things so much better than we treat ourselves. And so part of the way I've been helping my clients over the years is that they must take two, take at least twice a year, at least twice a year, and I often recommend this at the beginning of the year and the end of the year, the, the middle of the year, I beg your pardon, and the end of the year, that they must absolutely take time to reset. They must take time to reset. Otherwise, you just find that, you know, they, they begin the year very enthusiastically, and then what happens is that, you know, during the course of, 
of the weeks turning into months and the months into the year, you know, they begin to lose sight, life happens, you know, people get distracted, and before you know it, you've kind of really completely veered off course and, um, you know, totally lost sight of the dream that you set for yourself at the beginning of the year. And then the year comes and then, whoo, another year bites the dust, no fulfilled dreams, no fulfilled destiny, and then we start the whole vicious cycle again come January. Oh, we're motivated, and then the same happens year in, year out. And then what happens, um, you know, uh, we look back at the end of our life and we never really accomplished some of the main goals or the main things that we set out to do. So this is a huge, huge, huge recommendation for you. And this is what this today's broadcast is going to be focused on. How do I do it? You know, because that's a question I often then get. Okay, Princess Bola, yes, you asked me to take a break and reset my dreams. And, and, and so, but what do I do? What does that really mean in practical terms? And that's what this show is going to be all about. So if you're tuning in, just tuning in, welcome to Inspired Success. Uh, Princess Bola is here today on the show to help you to reset your dreams. Yes, yes, it's time to reset your dreams. It's time, it's time, it's time to take a break and, and, and reset your dreams. And so now let, let's just come to, you know, the practical power steps, you know, to help you to do just that, to, to ensure that you finish the year strong, you know. The goal is to finish 2013 strong, to, you know, reaching your dreams and really being fulfilled about, about, uh, about you know, the year. And so this is the, this are some of the power steps. There are five main power steps, power principles that you can apply to help you to reset, to reset. And, um, you know, to make sure that you are, you know, you stay on course and that you finish the year strong. And um, the first step is really creating the space, creating the space uh, for you to be able to reset. So that's the first step. Create this space, and, and that means you should take a break. Take a break. And uh, there's this adage that I coined. I coined it. So if you want to use it, it's okay to use it. But give me credit now. You know, give me credit for it. I, I say take a break or break. <laughs> take a break or break. So, you know, we don't want a break. <laughs> but so take a break. And in taking the break, create the space, create the atmosphere for you to be able to reset. And I'm going to tell you what reset means because it's an acronym, you know, for those five principles um, that I, 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 I mentioned earlier that would help you to reset your dreams and keep you or um, stayed, stay in the course and, and ensure that you finish strong. But create this space, create the atmosphere. And what I mean by that is, um, you know, find the time and go somewhere that, um, you know, is conducive for you to be able to center yourself. Okay, and so it's different things for different people. You know, taking a break, you know, number one, you know, you may not be able to afford the luxury of a weekend, but you can just take a day, a day off. I remember, you know, this um, Memorial Day, um, you know, I took the, just the day to do just what I'm talking to you about. So, you know, I practice what I preach, right? And so, you know, take that break, take that time, number one, and, and, and create the space, the environment for yourself. And so that environment may be, you know, for you, it could mean going to the beach. It may just mean for you going to a retreat center, a chapel somewhere. For others, it's going to the park, you know, con reconnecting with nature. You know, for others, it may just mean you finding that space in your home, you know, where you are able to center. And then go in there with a notepad or your iPad. I know we live in the digital age. <laughs> so most people these days, you know, have an I, 
I, I equipment, you know, so whether it's a, a smartphone device or an iPad or whatever. So, but go in there with something that you're able to write or take notes with and, and then create the space. And then the process of resetting begins. Reset five power steps to ensure that you stay the course, you stay on course, to redirect you if you veered off course, and to ensure that you finish 2013 strong. And so we're talking today on inspired success about resetting your dreams, taking a break or breaking. It's all about taking that mid-year um, evaluation. So this is the first step, you know, so you've created that space, you've taken the time, you've taken time out of your busy schedule, just one day, one Saturday, one Sunday, one, one day off and, 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 and created the space. Then the first step is to reflect. And that's the first letter in the word reset. Okay. We're resetting our dreams. So reflect. And when I mean that you reflect, you know, reflection speaks to just generally meditating and musing, you know, just take a general overview, you know, just kind of a general overview of, okay, where am I now? You know, where am I trying to go? What have I accomplished, you know, so far? Just take a general overview and reflect on things. How am I feeling emotionally, spiritually, you know? And so that's the first step. Reflect and, and capture all your thoughts, you know, on your equipment or on your, on your tablet or on your no, in your notebook. So R is for reflect. You know, we've got to think. We've got to take time to think and to, and to muse. And, and that's what the R stands for. And so the next step, okay? So we've created this space. We, uh, you know, we're in this environment that we find very relaxing. We're, we, we're better able to center. It's tranquil. It's peaceful, you know, and so... We're reflecting, or we're reflecting over the last six months. We're reflecting on accomplishments. We are reflecting on how we feel. We are reflecting over our re relationships. I mean, we're just kind of just reflecting, meditating, musing, and we're even, even, um, you know, um, reflecting on the future. You know, we're reviewing, and then the E is for evaluate. Evaluate, evaluate, and um, evaluation is a little bit um, deeper, is the next step after reflection. Evaluation speaks to measuring now, you know, taking inventory, inventory, uh, you know, taking stock of where I, am I, I'm measuring what, um, where you are. And so I'll give you like practical examples. So for example, you set off at the beginning of the year, I know that's the biggest goal everyone has. I mean, they've done a research on it. Everyone wants to lose weight, okay? <laughs> you know, myself inclu included, everyone. That's a big, big, big one, at least for those of us in America. <laughs> so anyway, so you started off the beginning of the year and you said to yourself, I got to lose 30 pounds this in 2013. I got to lose 30 pounds. And so when you're now resetting your dreams, you are saying to yourself at this time when you're evaluating, how much weight have I lost? Exactly how much weight have I lost? Exactly how much weight is left for me to lose and to reach my goal, you know? And, and you know, whether it's, or if it's a business goal that you set, you know, you know, um, uh, you know, you said to yourself, okay, I want to make so much this year, so many thousands, this year, a hundred K, you know, where am I, you know, so taking stock, evaluating, um, you know, where am I, what have I accomplished, um, you know, how much have I made, oh, I want new clientele, I want to start dating, um, you know, I want to, I want to go hiking, I want to run the marathon, whatever it is that you set out as a goal measure where you are. The other things you evaluate is, is the, the strategies that you use to get there. 
So what has worked for me, okay? What has worked for me? What has worked and what didn't work, okay? What didn't quite work for me? And then in evaluating, you know, then obviously you're going to eliminate the things that didn't quite work, you know? And, and um, you know, you're going to try, obviously, to, to repeat the things that have worked. So you got it. Um, we're on Inspired Success today, and it's time. It's the middle of the year. It's time to take a break. It's time to reset our dreams. You know, it's time to, for the dream check. And, um, you know, what that means like, is it's time to R for in reset to reflect. E is evaluate, and then the S is to strategize, okay? And, um, you know, you know the popular adage, um, you know, they credit it to different people, but, um, you know, it's, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And so in, in, in resetting, you will begin to strategize. So we've evaluated what worked, what didn't work, and so we come up with a, with a strategy um, you know, for the second half of the year that's supposed to then take us to where we really want to be, okay? Um, you know, so S is you strategize, you strategize, you strategize. And because you're in that environment that, you know, that space that is very tranquil, very centering, you're capturing all of this, you're better able to think, you know, uh, and, and think and, and plan and say, okay, though, this worked, this doesn't work, um, this is what I need to do to accomplish that um, goal. So I have 50K to meet, to, to, to make more, to make, to accomplish my goal, 20 more pounds to lose, um, I need to go on so many more dates, hopefully to hit the Mr. or Mrs. Wright, and so on and so forth. I need to, um, you know, I, I, I have, you know, um, so many more chapters of the Bible to read, whatever it is. I need to sign up for so more, many more classes for me to be able to accomplish this goal. So you begin to strategize and how you're going to make that happen in practical ways. So we got the S, okay? So those are the very practical, tangible power steps for your, you resetting your dreams and um, staying on course and making sure that um, you finish strong. And then the next E is, and then the empowerment, empower yourself, equipping yourself. Okay, so what are the equipments that I need? I've created the strategy, but what do I need? What resources do I need? Because you know, no man is an island. I say that all the time. I say that all the time. Only God self exists. And hello, you're not God. Okay, and so you want to really then begin to say to yourself, what is it that I need? What equipment? What equipment do I need? Do I need to hire a trainer? Do I need to enroll in school? Do I need um, a coach, a mentor? Whatever. Uh, you need something that is going to help you to reach that goal. And so that's what the other E is for. So we've got the R to reflect, E to evaluate, to really take stock and measure you know, and really measure where you are and how much uh, how much further you've got to go. Um, S is you strategize, you create a concrete plan with measurable steps. You know, you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And then the other E now is talking about the resources, equipping and empowering yourself. And um, that is so huge because Part of what we need as we as we as we are on this path towards our dreams, towards our destiny, is that we need community. You know, um, you, you can't do it on your own, like I just said. And um, so you need an accountability partner. You need the support. You need a mentor. You need coaching. You need guidance. You know, it's like the GPS. Uh, uh, and, and my acronym for the GPS. You need a GPS to help guide, position, and support. And 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 so you begin to say, what are the the the, the empowering things I need? What is the equipment I need for me to get? 
finally this second half of the year to take me to where I want to be. So if you're just tuning in, welcome to Inspired Your Success, your favorite show, your program for inspiration and information. Um, this is Princess Bola, and um, we've been talking today about taking a break. It's the middle of the year to do the dream check, have a dream check, and to reset our dreams. And, um, you know, I'm sharing uh, on the show, I've been sharing the five power steps. Very powerful, very practical. You know me, very pragmatic, you know, very practical steps that you really need to really make sure that, you know, as most of us must have, there, of course, to realign ourselves back with our dreams, to reset you know, to recalibrate, and um, I've shared four so far. I've shared you reflect, um, you muse, you, you know, that's kind of take an overview of, of where you are, um, review, and then you evaluate, and that's more measuring and, 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 and um, you know, assessing where you are, and the S is strategizing, and everything is captured here. So you have your R-E-S-E-T. Everything is captured on, on your tablet or on your notepad, and you're in that very um, conducive, tranquil space, and you've taken that day off, or even a couple of hours. And then the, uh, um, the other E is for, you know, the equipping, the equipment that you need, the empowerment that you need. And then finally, then we come to the T. The T is your target. Target, target, target. Is that bull's eye focus. <laughs> so now you, you know what you need. You know the equipment you need. You got the strategy, you got the plan. You know how far you really need to go. You know, here am I kind of moving my head, <laughs> thinking uh, of <laughs> this imaginary um, <laughs> target, this bull's eye board that I have in my head, imaginary, but... Anyway, so you now target. So you've got, you've reflected, you've evaluated, you know how far you really need to go. Okay, I need 30 more K. 30 more K to reach my goal in 2013. And this is just a joke. So you can send me that check, just $30,000. <laughs> but anyway, you know, oh, I need to lose 20 more pounds. That's the bull as I. Um, you know, I need to, yeah, whatever it is, you know. And then you you have, so you've evaluated, you know exactly what, how further you need to go. You have the strategy, the plan in place. You know what you need as equipment. Then you target, you target. And you focus and direct all your energy at this point, you know, towards all of that. And that is where I think most of us drop the ball, where we miss it, honestly. You know, I've been in this business for decades. That is where we miss it. We get distracted. We get distracted and we don't have enough accountability. We, don't, we haven't created the community. We don't have a mentor. We don't have a coach. We haven't hired somebody. Or if you can't hire, just look for someone in your network that will really truly hold you accountable. And so we get distracted and, and we, we, we don't know how to really focus and direct that energy. You know, as the year, year, as the, as the year begins, the second half year begins and the, and the year begins to wind up, you know, we, we kind of start losing track, losing, you know, life happens again. And so we lose focus of our target. But that's what the, 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 that, that's the most, I would say one of the most crucial things that we need to do. We need to keep that target in front of us, you know, and so that's the power of the vision board. Um, so whether it means, you know, just keeping that goal, if you can't have someone hold you accountable, but even if you do, also just having that vision board somewhere, you see it every day and all of that, having, you know, that accountability partner and that kind of focus and just keep targeting your energy. And that means a lot of elimination, you know. Uh, we have to know how to say no. We have to know how to eliminate the distractions, identify them. And um, is having that iPad, 
laser focus and can just start getting all our energies and resources in the direction in which we want to we want to go and and stay in that course you know and not allowing ourselves to be pulled here and there you know it's so easy there's so much sometimes so much pull in different directions but we have to know how to stay targeted how to stay focused and how to say no how to get rid of the negativity you know and 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 the negativity and the negative people the naysayers and all those things that may crowd you know our, our own uh, spirit and our own strength and our own power you know we know we have to just you know keep our eyes on the on the price on the finish line and so there it is you know very simple very simple to do very very simple to do but the 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 challenge oftentimes is that we don't do it or we don't know how to do it and so i i believe that today um you know this show has really this broadcast today has helped you you know with pragmatic ways in how in resetting your dreams in, in realigning you know it's like um realignment and um, recalibrating and um you know so you just you, you know how to get a hold of me facebook linkedin twitter i'm all on all the social networking sites and just you know share with me how this show has inspired you and um how it's helped you i, I really would appreciate that and of course always welcome your feedback and so you know this is the woman this is your your inspiration and your 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 your, your total success coach you know and re, I, and i want to just remind you remind you take a break up break is the middle of the year dream check reset your dreams and um Hey, keep smiling. Put a smile on your face. Life's too short. Come on now. Put a smile on your face. Keep believing. Keep networking. Keep learning. And keep on keeping on. You're on the winning side. I look forward to seeing you next month. You have a great, 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 great rest of 2013. God bless.